and the big meeting will be preceded by a magnificent documentary special all about the mile, going back to John Landy, Herb Elliott. I had the pleasure of seeing that in a week. Uh, Bruce McAvaney has put together a marvellous special, and it's great viewing tomorrow here on 10 at 4 o'clock, and then Bruce will join us from Oslo with the games there, including the Dream Mile and the appearance of the magnificent Carl Lewis. And, of course, next Saturday we'll be back here at Flemington for the dominant Grand National Steeple. Big field, but they're moving in well as we take you to the commentary box for race 7 and Dan Malik. Thanks very much, Peter. The second last race, the K.A. Morrison Handicap. Norfolk on to the last horse to link up in the green and white colours. Keep an eye on Lovatina and Donnie's chance. They both have habits of missing the start. Lovatina's been in fair form, though. The only time she hasn't missed the start in her last five appearances, it was her worst run. She ran 15th of 18. The favourite, though, our Palliser, has drawn barrier number 10. Its stable mate, Distant Beat, is wearing a red cap. Now, Norfolk Honor goes up. And they're all set to go. K.A. Morrison handicap, 2,000 metres. The light is on. And they uh, make a pretty good line. Race seven, 2,000 metres. Capacity field, and they're off and racing. Lavatina missed the start, as usual. Five lengths. One of the best horses out, Sister Shirley. Delphic got up on the inside. Kalahari third. Bengal charger fourth. Then Din Zam out, going up around the outside with Sugar, followed by Donnie's Chance. Norfolk on her over on the outside, then came inhibit three off the fence. Sinai next, Rendali the rail, Numeria Mies out wider. Then to tell Distant Beat goes around it, followed by Asterman, who won this race two years ago. Lord Lonsdale inside the favourite, our Palliser. Two lengths further back, Camden Poacher. High road to China, second last, and now Lovatina's caught up with the rest of the field, but she's last. And about 20 lengths off the lead with 13.50 to go. And Delphic goes to the lead, pilots them a length and a quarter to Sugar. Sister Shirley third the fence, two lengths to Norfolk Honor, followed by Dinzam. Next was Donnie's Chance, and they were followed by Inhibit. Kalahari on the inside of Bengal. All charge and Umri Amis out three deep and then came Distant Beat. Sinai a length back on the fence, a length and a half two to tell. Two to Rendali, one and a half to our Palliser, then came Masterman, Camden Poacher. High road to China third last, a length and a half to Lord Lonsdale and a half length away last of all Lovatina and she's still 20 lengths off the leader, Del Pick. Running up towards the 800 metres point, Del Pick led by two lengths. Shugar second, a length and a half away in Hibbert. It's made ground quickly with Dinzam, a length away Sister Shirley. Then Bengal Charger followed by Numeria Mies. Over on the outside was Distant Beat, followed by Detel Norfolk Honor. Our Palace are running on, but still eight links off the lead. And then came Asterman. Well back, Sinai. Donnie's Chance, High Road to China. Lovatina, Camden Poacher, and Lord Lonsdale. Last of all, 5.50 to go, and Shugar went to the front. Michael Clark hasn't moved a muscle. He's going for a treble. It's raced away from Inhibit under the whip, and then Distant Beat, Dinzam. Shugar's got a huge break. 300 metres to go. Shugar, five in front of Distant Beat. Our Palace are running on inhibit starting to weaken Shugar's a mile in front distant beat trying to peg it back running on fairly well down the outside was our palliser and then came to tell Shugar shortening stride he's two lengths in front but run them ragged and a treble to Michael Clark Shugar won at two lengths distant beat second to tell third then our palliser in habit they were followed in by Rendali Kalahari sister Shirley Asterman Further back then to High Road to China, Sinai, Norfolk on a Bengal charge and Umria Mies. Well back in the field was Din Zam and then came Camden Poacher, Donnie's Chance. Well back was Del Pick and Lavatina never, never really got into the race with Lord Lonsdale. Well, every time you have a horse with the ability of Shugart, who's paid $5.40 and $2.05 for the place, distant beat second, $6.55 and they tell $1.15. When you have a horse like Shergar that can uh, take up a beautiful posse, second on the pace all the way, it makes it very easy to go away and put a break on the horses at the top of the straight in any race. Our Palliser was probably setting uh, Shergar 20 lengths at least uh, in the last 800 metres, but it, was, it weakened on its run, our Palliser, and uh, Distant Beat, its stable mate, has done very well to run second. Good effort. Might be one to watch out on, Des. Well, Distant Beat was a first horse beaten at, uh, at Cranbourne recently on heavy going, but a different heavy to today, I imagine, because it couldn't have fired as well as it did today. Well, Shugar, I saw him win at that midweek meeting three starts ago. Don't know what happened in his last two, but one like a good horse. Let's find out about him. Here's uh, Kevin Dummy Myers to uh, talk about Shugar's win. Well, Kevin, uh, we know you better as a trainer of jumpers, but uh, Shergar certainly, uh, well, Shugar, I should say, not Shergar, he uh, certainly won in fine style. Uh, yes, we're very lucky. Um, 
I went a couple of disappointing runs, so Michael Clark and he said it's just a little thing wrong and we're lucky Rod Grogue and the back man fixed him this week, so um, come home today. So we have to thank Rod Grogan and the staff and Michael Clark for picking up the faults on him. Well, that's very good. And, uh, of course, he's been running over 1,400 metres. Probably 2,000 suits him a bit better now. Oh, not if you put the money I did in the 1,400, <laughs> so <laughs> we could have been wrong. So. Right. Now, uh, what's in store for him? Oh, we'll keep him going around, I suppose. He's, the further they go, I think, the better he'll get. Um, he's nominated for the Caulfield Cup. He's a bit above average, I think. Would you run him next Saturday, the second day of the meeting here? Um, see how he pulls up. Probably will, don't know. And what about your jumper next lot? He'll be home <laughs> in the box. He just pulled a bit up a little bit, jarred up, so I won't risk him. I'll keep him, and there's always plenty more races, isn't it? Will you have any runners in the Grand National steeple? Uh, no, oh, I, don't, I won't run Tara Woolies. Couldn't see it out today, so I've got a bit of patience. Good, well, congratulations, and I'm glad it's paying off for you, Kevin. Thank you. Kevin Myers, the winning trainer there after race seven at Flemington. Numbers are five, 16, and eight. And our next event for telecast, race number seven in Brisbane.